multiple wide receivers and like the next play for the Some of the guys that came in. Like, yeah. I, I, what I, do you I, think I, the difference is? The main difference, I think, basically is um, just the style of offense. You know, when uh, when we first got here, it was more of a kind of two receiver set and 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 occasionally a third receiver. And now we're we're putting in personnel where we're trying to get as many receivers on the field <coughs> as possible. So, I mean, obviously from a scheme standpoint, it's a little bit different. But I mean, we, at the end of the day, we all have to we all have to be great blockers. We all have to be able to go get the ball. And we all have to be able to make plays. Big, so that we share in common, but just a little bit different in scheme. Biggest thing with you, I feel like getting <coughs> on the field was just your impeccable blocker. Mm -hmm. But I think at the core of every receiver, they want to make plays and mm -hmm. catch the ball. I mean, how important is it to you to not only continue to make the plays that you did in the run game with the blocking, but to, you know, as a senior, make a name for yourself as a playmaker this year? Right. Um, I mean, I, I, I've I've always taken the approach that that I'm 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 going to be the complete player at whatever position I do. So as as a receiver, it's we, we we pride ourselves in being great blockers. So that's just one thing that I that I worked on every day in camp. I mean, every time we go out in the practice field, I try to pick one thing and make sure I focus on getting better on that. So <clears throat> that's just that's just one piece of the puzzle, you know. I've 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 done been successful at at blocking and and like you said. Uh, the, the, the playmaker's going to come. I mean, we, we're going to spread the ball around the playmakers, and myself included, and we're going to get the ball us, out to us in the open field, and we're going to do things now. Uh, we're all developing in all areas, and blocking was a strong suit of mine. And now it's just uh, when we get the ball out to, to us, uh, you'll see me make a little bit more plays. <laughs> Evan, Evan, you know what it was like when you were a, a freshman or a sophomore or whatever. Can you, Matt, can you kind of visualize what it's like to become the starting quarterback at Ohio State when you're a redshirt freshman? I would say it would have been a lot tougher for him had he just came out of high school. Like, had he just got showed up on campus, it would have been a, a lot tougher for him. Him being here, seeing how the operation is, seeing how, how we handle ourselves on game day, seeing how we practice, seeing how we go through camp, seeing how we do the offseason, that actually matured him a lot, I think. And in and, and, and terms of JT, I think that really helped him. And, and that's kind of why I think his maturity level and, and, and his understanding of the role that he needs to uh, fulfill <clears throat> is, is very prevalent. I mean, he, he knows what he's got to do and kind of going through it all once, although he was redshirt and going through it all, seeing it all is really going to uh, uh, prove to be great for him. Evan, it's one. Go ahead. Uh, what was it like coming in here being Tim Spencer's son? I mean, was there, right, as a freshman, was there uh, pressure? Was there comparisons? Was there? Not really. I mean, there wasn't really pressure that I felt personally. Um, I mean, the the the, the kind of vibe that I kind of took from or pulled from it was that we played different positions. I mean, we 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 were, we're coming here and and he he was a running back and, and, and great running back here and and I I came here trying to make a name for myself. I mean, yeah, I am Tim Spencer. Some at the end of the day, I got to go out on the field and perform. So that was probably the only pressure that I had was just knowing that. You got to go out and make a uh, make a name for yourself, really, and and that's that's kind of how I treated it from from when I got here till now. I mean, I, I I always try to play football like I got a chip on my shoulder. I mean, when I'm out there, I try to be the most competitive person that's on the field. So whether that I I came from Los Angeles, California, and my dad was a lawyer, or I'm in the position I am now, I just make sure that I go out, have a chip on my shoulder, and be the best Evan that I can be. Yeah, what is the uh, biggest lesson you learned from the mop the floor <laughs> comment last year? You know. It, it, we all think you're a pretty smart guy and stuff. You think about that, but what, what I don't know. What's the, what's the biggest lesson you got from that? Uh, I don't know. I mean, the biggest lesson I, I, I took is that um, I'm confident to a fault at points. So um, maybe I just took it. I, I took it a little bit too far. But on the same token, I uh, I love my teammates and and I'm confident in my teammates. Hey Evan, you said that JT is a uh, mature quarterback. Everyone keeps telling us that, but there's. A difference between telling us that and like proving it. Can you mm -hmm. give us an example of something he does that an immature quarterback wouldn't? I mean, it's it's it, it, it's it's hard to kind of tell without seeing practice because I mean, just the operation of practice, how we go through team, and I mean, when you go when you go against a defense, you I mean, your eyes got to change colors, and and when when you see a young guy like JT come and kind of take the bull by the horns and, and gather everybody and make sure everybody's right before at each set that we do. It's 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 kind of it, it just kind of gives you everybody the vibe around the entire team that hey I mean this kid he 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 knows what what's being thrown at him and I and I think he's ready. What do you Seven. see in Navy? They I mean they're 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 a really disciplined team. Uh, offensively they're going to be kind of a pain in the butt to deal with. We've 
I mean, I, I know a little bit about it because I ran that offense in high school. So, I mean, I know it's kind of a pain in the buck because they got 300 fakes before they give the ball to somebody. But defensively, I mean, uh, we, we've been watching a lot of film on them. Uh, we, we got a really good game plan going into the game, and, and, and I really believe that um, we'll shine that game and get out there and have some fun again. It's been a while. We've heard a lot about Jalen Marshall. I mean, is he the real thing? I mean, what have you seen out of him? Yeah, I mean, Jalen, Jalen, like, like, like I said earlier, like we, we have so much depth and so much athleticism in our room, and I think that's really going to uh, come to fruition on Saturday. I mean, you guys, you guys will see some some really good plays being made out of our room specifically, and, and, and Jalen Jalen is a, a piece of the puzzle in that room. I mean, he's really athletic. He's He, he can do anything you need him to do, and, and, and he's versatile, and that, that's, that's, that's one big thing about him. What's Saturday the depth chart looking like there? Stadium. Does that mean anything? Right. Stadium. You guys, you're in an NFL stadium on Saturday. Does that mean anything to you guys? It's still 100 yards. It'll be less people than you played in front of at Ohio Stadium. Right. I mean, every every uh, every game that we go to is, is an adjustment. Um, away game, that is, because it's not our stadium. So I think it, it'll be a little bit different in, in terms of um, the facilities and, and locker rooms, uh, et cetera. But, I mean, at the end of the day, we still got to go out there and play game. I mean, there's there's four quarters to be played, and and no matter what stadium we in, we're in, we got to go in and dominate. So that's um, that's going to be the plan. What's the pecking order right now, at wide receiver? Uh, like, if you guys had to play a game, I mean, it's game week now. If you guys had to play a game tomorrow, are you with the first team, or just talk about kind of the pecking order there? Well, I mean, it, in our in our room, we we have really like, I mean, we got like five or six ones. I mean, you you, got, you guys will see on Saturday, but we're going to rotate so much that. We're gonna try to keep people, fresh people on the field as much as we can because we have the players to do so. You know, we got the athletes to do so. Everybody's uh, comfortable enough in the system. They 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 know what they're doing. They know why they're doing it. More importantly, so I think because of that, we're gonna have so many more people in the rotation, which is in in in. in in the big picture is going to help us out as an offense. You know, we're, we're going to be, we're going to be.